out-of-town retail parks, online browsing and the pandemic have all made life for independent retailers more and more difficult. Perhaps it's time to rethink how our local shopping districts look and operate. They need to not just provide a service, but be a destination, a place to meet as well as shop. And there are already examples of how this can be achieved. Like here in Kings Heath, Birmingham. We absolutely love it. It's been great for this road particularly. It's really brought the communities together. In the evenings, um, kind of, you'll see that we've got tables out. Um, there's a real kind of like European kind of um, vibe where people can kind of get together. Kids literally play out on the street. And before, it was just a rat run for cars going up and down. You pretty much couldn't move the traffic on the road, a lot of angry drivers, and it's just gone complete, you know, 360 now to a point where there's kids playing in the road, people outside eating, drinking, it's just fantastic. When this permanent cycle lane was suggested outside these local shops and businesses here on Wilmslow Road in Manchester, there was much nervousness. Now it's just an established part of the streetscape, and that little bit of separation from the traffic makes walking along the pavement feel just a bit more relaxing. I think it's really useful for the city because it like it stops a lot of cars from coming in. So I think a lot more like people like cycling and things will really like help with the environment of the city. Frodsham Street in Chester used to be a traffic choked side road, but now it's been radically redesigned. And even though buses and some traffic is still allowed along it, pedestrians have the right of way and it just feels like a place you want to be. Having reduced traffic on the street is definitely good for us as a business at Bean & Coal and I know a lot of other businesses here have definitely benefited from it. Growing up in Chester, uh, you definitely see like a massive improvement to people coming into the city. Altrincham had suffered years of decline and then over the last 10 years the shopping district was changed, pushing cars out and inviting people in. The result? Footfall is up and shop vacancies are down. It's great during the day where there's no cars, there's no deliveries. Um, it means that also people can sit outside without any traffic noise. Um, it also creates a safe environment, so especially on the weekends, there's lots of families out here, uh, plenty of dogs. People often describe it as a Mediterranean field. People feel like they're on holiday in Altrincham. When the council in Waltham Forest announced they were going to ban all motorised traffic, except for a local stopping bus for the elderly and the infirm, Many of the local businesses carried a coffin down the middle of the high street in protest to what they saw as the last nail in the lid. We'll take a look now. The council's design, rather than be the death knell, turned out to be the kiss of life for this place. If done correctly, with the right plan, then contrary to misconceptions, a low traffic approach can be the saving of a local shopping district. We love it as it is. We love the way the road looks. The cycle lines is just fantastic obviously makes cyclists feel safe. The road wasn't really big enough for two-way traffic so we'd often have cars passing on the pavement to be able to get past each other and cars parked on the pavement. There'd be fumes coming into the shop and so on so I was really quite pleased when they decided to change it to being uh, pedestrianised even though at the beginning people were upset at not having parking. People have got used to it. Think about it. People who cycle and walk to the shops are less likely to use traffic-filled retail parks and supermarkets. Instead, they buy smaller amounts more regularly from nearby shops. I do, and always have.